What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. and God sense. my name is Simon, Good Heart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. Alright then, Let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a sepia tone effect in Canva. Old photos steer our emotions. There is something magical about old photos and the feelings of memories they inspire. These old photographs feel so old and vintage because of their sepia tint. Sepia is historically associated with vintage photographs and more recently used to describe the various filters content creators and photographers use during the photo editing process. The sepia effect is a well-known tonal editing technique that stimulates a warm, almost antique feel in your pictures. This effect works exceptionally well with black and white images. Current photos can be transformed to an old photo look by using the sepia tone effect. Let's get into Canva and I will show you how to apply the sepia tone effect to your images. But before that, here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. First, get your subject image from photos or uploads. I will get mine from photos by searching the keyword handsome baker. I will scroll down to find the image that I want to use. Here it is. Having the keyword, Handsome Baker. I'll click it to use it in the design. I will set this image as my background. I'll adjust the position of the man to the center like this by double-clicking the image and moving it sideward. I think this is now good. Now I'm ready to apply the sepia tone effect in this photo. Using the image, go to edit image, scroll down and find the duotone effect. Click see all. And here you will see many options or duotone effects here that you can use to your images. In this particular design, I will scroll down and use this sepia duotone. Once clicked, you can see the transformation of your image from bright colors turn to a rich warm brownish tone. Click it once more to see the highlights, shadows, and intensity settings. What I'll do next is I will change the color of the shadows color tile to solid color black. See what it did to your photo? It intensified the dark portions or shadow colors of your image. Once done, click apply. Next, we will be adding some finishing touches to our subject image. We will enhance the sepia tone even more by applying some filter settings that balance the colors, highlights, shadows, and contrast of the image. Using the image, go to Edit Image, scroll down and find the Adjust Settings, click See All, and here we will adjust the following filter settings to make our sepia tone enhanced than usual. Let's adjust brightness, 
negative 5 contrast 5 saturation 20 blur negative 5 warm 3 clarity 3 vibrance 15 highlights 100 shadows negative 15 now i will zoom in for you to see the effect of the sepia tone effect done this is now the final look of the design i created using the sepia tone effect in canva that's it for more design inspirations watch this If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, Good Heart VA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky Gods and VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you don't miss the next video with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video.